So today I'm going to talk about using the T-bar. Now this is something I've talked about in class and for those people who are great with algebra, you're not scared of math at all, then you probably don't need this video, although it is a helpful tool. If you have any fears or even a little bit nervous about any of the math, then I highly suggest you use a T-bar. Now a T-bar is actually just a tool and it's a visual algebra for lack of a better word. So let's get into it. So most of us remember that you've got your basics, which are gonna be A times B equals C, C divided by A equals B, and C divided by B equals A. Again, this is probably familiar to you all, but sometimes when you're doing math, you can't remember, well, do I divide, do I multiply, which number do I put in the calculator first? And that's where the T-bar comes in. Now a T-bar looks like this, a T. And when you fill out the numbers, it's telling you whether you're going to multiply or whether you're going to divide. So when you have two numbers at the bottom, you're gonna multiply. And if you have two numbers at the top, you're going to divide. So what that means is if you have A times B equals C, that would look like A times B equals C. Or if you have C divided by A, it equals B. Or you could have C divided by B equals A. So let's try this with a regular just math problem I know you can do. Let's say you have 2 times 3 equals 6. If I put this into a t-bar, I would go 2 times 3, it equals 6. But you also know if you had 6 and 2, how many times does 2 go into 6? You know it's 3 times. So that would be 6, and then you've got your divided sign, you've got your 2, and that equals 3. And then, of course, we know 6 divided by 3 equals 2. So that would be 6 divided by 3 equals 2. So as you can see, whether or not you're using a t-bar or you're doing basic pre-algebra, it's going to be the same math. Sometimes you might have something that is a question like, what is 10% of 45? Now, most of us can do this math in your head, but I'm gonna show you how I use a t-bar to do it. So in this instance, when we think about filling out a T-bar, we're going to think part, rate, and whole, right? So if you have the bottom two, you multiply. If you have a top and you a bottom, you divide. Because you know a whole times the rate equals a part. We know part divided by whole equals a rate, and we know part divided by a rate equals whole. So again, if you did this algebraically, you would say 45 times 10% equals 4.5. But you could also say 4.5 divided by 10% is going to give you 45. And you could say 4.5 divided by 45 equals 10%. What is 10% of 45 if you were to use a T-bar? So our first step, make a T-bar. And the easiest thing, and I'll go ahead and mark the multiplying, dividing. The easiest thing to find in a problem is the rate, and in this one, it's the 10%. So I'm gonna put the 10% here, and now I've gotta figure out if that 45 is a whole or is it a part. Well, in this case, we're trying to find a portion 
of the 45. A lot of times you'll see things that are of here and you'll see things, words related to is there. We're trying to find a portion of 45. That's our original or our whole. I put it there. So 45 times 10% and that's gonna equal 4.5. Not too bad. Let's try another one. All right, so let's say you had a problem that said, what is 25% of eight? Well, we know first step is to make a T-bar and the easiest thing to put into the T-bar to find in a T-bar first is the rate, which in this case is 25%. I'm gonna stick it there and we gotta figure out what to do with the eight. So the eight is either going to be our part or it's going to be our whole. So in this case, once again, we are have this of here and usually the of is going to go there. So we're trying to find a portion of eight. We're going to stick the eight down here. We're going to multiply. So eight times 25%. And of course, I know you already know the answer is two. So you can do that math. Let's try another one. 48 is what percent of 120? Now again, this is probably something you could figure out. Let me show you how I would do it in a T-bar. Our first step, make a T-bar. Then we're going to find the rate. In this case, our rate is here and it's what we're looking for. So put a little question mark there. That means once again, I've got to find a part and I've got to find a whole. So this 48, is 48 what we started with or is it a portion of whatever the original amount is? And in this case, 48 is our part. So stick it up there. And the 120 is what we started with. Notice the is right here, a lot of times is goes up here, and the of right there, a lot of times goes right there. So we've got a top and bottom. Now I've told you before, if you've got a top and bottom, you're gonna divide, but I want you to remember a little phrase, T-G-I-F, and that doesn't stand for, thank goodness it's Friday, this time it's gonna stand for top goes in first. So what I mean is in your calculator, you're literally going to put 48, the divided sign, 120, and that's going to give you an answer, 40%. So I hope this makes sense. I hope this helps. Just keep practicing the T-bar. If you want to see how this relates really in real life problems or the word problems that we do in the math class, watch the next videos, the uh, T-bar examples, and it should make a lot of sense. Talk to you later.